Hello, blockchain visionaries. I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make this change happen today, I'm going to answer a question from one of the students of the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course. Eric asks, what if one day the Bitcoin miners decided to stop mining Bitcoin? What happens then? That is an excellent question. And I'll give you the answer right after this. In this video, we're going to be talking about the scenario if Bitcoin miners suddenly stopped mining. First thing I want to caveat is that there has been no threat of Bitcoin miners actually deciding to stop mining. But this is a question that pops up regularly. What would happen if Bitcoin miners decided to stop mining? Well, before we get into that, let's talk about first the role of Bitcoin miners. Bitcoin miners are a group of people who actually process and confirm transactions. Anybody can become a Bitcoin miner. If you wish, you can download the software yourself and you can start mining Bitcoins. That being said, the most successful Bitcoin miners have very powerful computers. And if you're going to try to do it at home with your regular computer, odds are you're not going to be able to mine any cryptocurrency. That being said, the role of these Bitcoin miners is to process and confirm transactions. And there are a lot of them around the world, thousands and thousands, and even you could be one if you wish. In the process, these Bitcoin miners secure the network, and they do that by using their powerful mining computers. The Bitcoin network is a massive computer network with thousands and thousands and thousands of computers who are undergoing this process of mining Bitcoins. And for doing this role, these Bitcoin miners are rewarded in Bitcoin. I have covered at length the process that Bitcoin miners are actually rewarded in Bitcoin. There's a common misconception by some people who think that if you're actually mining Bitcoin, you actually get paid in dollars, euros, or yen. And that's not the case at all. You actually get rewarded in Bitcoin. So one key thing I want to say is this. If you assume that Bitcoin miners are rewarded in Bitcoin, then you need to understand how the whole thing plays. In practice, what would really happen, I'm going to take you to the unconfirmed transactions page so you can see this, is that as we are going day by day in our Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin transactions eventually wind up first in something known as the memory pool. What you're seeing here is the memory pool. The memory pool is where unconfirmed transactions sit whenever you make a transaction with someone else. That is, whenever you send Bitcoins to someone else or you receive Bitcoins from someone else, the first place that transaction goes is into the mempool, where it is an unconfirmed transaction. From this pool of unconfirmed transactions, miners group transactions and assemble them into blocks. That is how new blocks are created and added to the blockchain. The Bitcoin miners go to the mempool, they cluster a group of transactions, build them into a block, and successfully add them to the Bitcoin blockchain. When they're able to do that, that miner that successfully gets to add the new block to the Bitcoin blockchain gets rewarded in Bitcoins. Key things I want to point out. The Bitcoin network has thousands and thousands of miners distributed all around the world. And many of these miners are assembled in what is known as pools. These mining pools have hundreds and thousands of different miners all grouping together to join forces in order to be able to create the next block to get added to the Bitcoin blockchain. The bottom line is this, if all the miners around the world, every single one of them, decided to stop mining Bitcoins, then Bitcoin network as such would probably become rendered worthless or useless. And that's because you simply could not confirm any of the transactions that get sent to someone else. But it's a very unlikely scenario because in the process, these Bitcoin miners would automatically destroy their entire asset base of Bitcoins. And that is what would happen if Bitcoin miners decided to stop mining. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.